Fair trade programs are what keep the movement strong. For the programs were started by Fair Trade Canada, the Canadian Fair Trade Network, and the Association Québécois de Commerce Equitable. There are over 100 groups to get involved in in Canada. There are 26 fair trade towns, 32 campuses, 20 schools, 9 faith groups, and 53 workplace designations. So let's unpack that a little. The Fair Trade Town program recognizes municipalities who are so committed to fair trade that they engage their whole city and town in it. Fair Trade Vancouver became a fair trade designated city back in 2010. The steering committee for it is called Fair Trade Vancouver, which is also a registered nonprofit. Winnipeg has also made headlines in recent years for its 2017 Fair Trade Town designation. Winnipeg, as well as other cities around Manitoba, have been trying to push for a province wide Fair Trade Manitoba campaign hoping to be the first province with a provincial designation. The Fair Trade Town program in Canada is part of a global movement that as of 2017 has over 2,000 Fair Trade Towns worldwide. The Fair Trade Campus and School designation was also modeled after the original designation system in the UK. Fair Trade Campuses and Schools swap their conventional school and campus coffee for Fair Trade Certified Coffee. They also carry products such as fair trade certified teas, chocolates, snacks, and other small gifts in their stores. Each school has a steering committee, just like towns do, that put on events and awareness activities for students. Each campus in Canada also participates annually in Fair Trade Campus Week every September. And these schools do all sorts of cool things. SFU partnered with Starbucks to do a pilot project to get Starbucks to start carrying fair trade certified coffee in their campus store. After that, it was such success that there's now Fairtrade certified espresso at campus Starbucks locations all across the country. In 2014, McGill tried to break the world record for the world's largest brownie, and they succeeded. The world's largest brownie was all made of Fairtrade certified ingredients and weighed in at over 4,400 pounds. The ingredients included 1,400 pounds of Fairtrade certified sugar, 360 pounds of Fairtrade cocoa powder, and 420 pounds of fair trade dark chocolate. You can check out the Canadian Fair Trade Network's website to get more information about whether your school is currently designated as a fair trade campus or school. In 2016, the Faith Groups, Workplaces, and Events designations launched in Canada. Faith Groups and Workplaces are just like schools, campuses, and towns. Organizations decide to swap their conventional products for fair trade certified alternatives. They also commit to educating others about fair trade and its importance. The events program is a little bit different. It gives those who do not meet regularly the opportunity to still educate others about fair trade. You can designate private or public events, such as concerts, fairs, and festivals, or even birthdays, picnics, and weddings. In BC, the Vancouver International Soccer Festival is fair trade designated every single year for its partnerships with local fair trade suppliers. It has soccer balls, coffee, food, and fair trade organizations present at every time it has an event. The Fair Trade Ambassador Program was created to give interested and active citizens the opportunity to participate in the fair trade movement even if they aren't a part of structured organizations. These ambassadors can take part in all sorts of fair trade projects and initiatives across the country. The Fair Trade Ambassador Program emphasizes the fact that one person can make a difference. We've made an entire video about the Fair Trade Ambassador Program for you, and if you're interested, you can take a look in our archives. Remember that these designations aren't the same as certifications. Certifications are the labels that you see in the products that you buy in the store, and these designations celebrate the organizations that advocate for those products. If you're interested in getting involved with the movement, these programs are a great place to start. The Canadian Fair Trade Network also has a volunteer resources page now where you can go to find out more information about how to get involved in different organizations across Canada. You can visit the cftn.ca for more information or you can check out our archives. 
for our fair trade videos. For more information on the fair trade movement.